Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop right there. This channel is not intended for kids under the age of 13. So if you're under the age of 13, please leave. Hey everybody, Arthur here with another unboxing video. Today we have G.I. Joe, Cobra the Enemy, Cobra Officer. This is from the three and three quarter inch retro line and it is fantastic looking. I love the card art and that's what really drew me back into the three and three quarter inch that Hasbro's pumping out. And this figure I didn't have single carded. So some of these newer figures I've been picking up like uh, single carded stalker. That style was good. The roadblock with the new head sculpt I needed to get. So there's little ones. I'm just sort of filling out this collection. And I'm glad that they went back to this style of card art. Because when they did the retaliation line, the figures were fantastic. They just had crappy card art. And speaking of card art, something you have to worry about. This stuff is super, super thin. This is not the same cardboard that you used to when you used to pick up Joe's. This is super flimsy and very, very, very thin. Here we have the back of the packaging and we got the old school file cards and there looks like there's a lot of stuff on these file cards, but they're just in multiple languages. So each line is a different language. Um, so you just get a little bit about the Cobra Officer, and then you got other three and three quarter retro figures in the line. Skipped on those two because I didn't need them. I got Lady J, I got Stalker, I did get Grunt, and I did get the Cobra Officer. I know there's a Cobra Trooper, but the Bazooka sort of deterred me away. It was like a big green weird Bazooka that just didn't seem to fit, but I might pick one up uh, if I can find one because it's just a figure to add to the shelf or to the wall. The Cobra Officer comes with a figure stand, and I'm so happy these figures come with stands. Here we have the Cobra Officer's little helmet with the little marking on the helmet. It's just casted in blue plastic. Nothing, nothing really to write home about. It's just a helmet. The Cobra Officer comes with a machine pistol or submachine gun with the extended magazine. Uh, it looks pretty cool, tons of detail, but then as I rotate it around, you can see that it's not really straight. This thing is warped and sort of twisted. Um, that's because the plastic they're using with their weapons are not a hard plastic. It's more of like a gummy plastic. We also get a nice little pistol with the figure and look at the texture on the handle. Like they got that little sculpted work. I mean, it really, <laughs> seeing it like this is a gun for a three and three quarter figure and, uh, it, its handle looks better than the Mezco John Wick pistol grips. One of the primary weapons this figure comes with is a AK, and it looks awesome. Sculpted in detail looks great. I'm happy they're actually giving them an AK, and it looks good. I wish all my Cobra Troopers and infantry had AKs, but I know the new officer that's coming out will have one, and I'm super happy about it. When it comes to this, I'm gonna it, like you can really see the gumminess of the weapons. <laughs> Like, it's super gummy. Um, that's the only downfall I would say about these weapons. Um, it, it's the gummy plastic they used. The main reason I picked this figure up is because it came with the mortar. And I don't have any three and three quarter figures that came with the mortar. And this thing is awesome looking. Uh, it's, it's a beautiful piece. It's got a little bit of articulation here with this piece. Because you can adjust the stand to get that angle of how you're shooting the mortar. Even the top has a port that I'm sure you can put a blast effect on or something of that nature. And I mean, it's awesome. Like it makes me wish I would have got a couple of them to have like a little mortar squad because we really don't see these uh, too often with figures in my opinion. Here we got an up close look at the Cobra officer and uh, they got the nice cloth cover in his like uh, almost like a gator cover in his mouth. We got his uh, eyes painted on there pretty nicely. Uh, very cartoony looking a little bit with the eyes, the hairs sculpted and painted. It's going to be covered up with the helmet anyway. But uh, not too bad looking. The harness, the Cobra logo looks great. It's in silver for that officer. You know, so if, you, <laughs> if you're Joe and you see that silver, you're like, hey, that's the officer. We've got to take him out. But they got a lot of sculpted detail 
and it looks really nice around the collar the harness is good they actually added paint to the harness to the buckle the pouches uh the top shoulder pieces pretty impressed with the amount of texture and detail in this little harness for a three and three quarter figure then we even get his arms are all sculpted and even have texture throughout that we got like a weird watch towards his forearm his gloves have like different sections they're they're doing a lot of work with these and i'm quite impressed with the love of i mean and they should because i mean following with retaliation and the pursuit of cobra waves uh, they need to be putting it all out. And we will be doing a little side-by-side -side comparison of this trooper versus the other ones from the Pursuit of Cobra Wave, which are my favorite. And then we got ourselves the pistol holder right there with the texture. They even added that leather texture. Looks great. Some knee pads. We got like a little circuit board thing going on there. Don't recall what that would be. Maybe it's like a med kit. And we even get into, as I flip him over, uh, we get his little boots. Sculpted very nice. Even the laces. Like, they, they put a lot of detail in these little guys. Now to dive into articulation, his head can look full 360. Um, there's not much up-down movement out of it. Because I'm assuming it's just like a normal ball peg. His arms can go up that high. There is no biceps swivel. We get single jointed elbow, pivots at the elbow, wrist rotation, and we do have a wrist bend that actually goes this way. And these, these little disc hinges in the shoulders are really tight. Uh, we do not, do we? Actually, yeah, we do. We got a little bit of a ball up in the upper pectoral area, so you get some movement that way. We do get some waist swivel, which is okay because you don't really notice the bookshelf hip too much you see it there but i mean when you're twisting them the harness is going to cover a lot of it which is okay in my book then we get uh the splits we get a thigh cut up at the top double jointed knee and these knees man this figure is made out of gummy plastic too like the knees when i'm bending them feel gummy it's not like a hard plastic but the double jointed knees work we get a boot swivel we get the ankle bend and we get some pivot in there so tons of articulation and these little guys and his leg popped off that's not good so yeah that's what you get with one of these guys i mean it might be that gummy plastic but you know it popped on leg staying on there pretty good now the figure is pretty cool got the Guns in his hands, he holds them pretty well. Can holster the pistol. Helmet fits on. I mean, it's it's a definitely a Cobra officer when you see it. It's like a, a a darker blue than some of the first release ones that were like super bright blue. So I'm I'm digging that because I'm always a more of a fan of the darker navy blue. But it's definitely not a bad figure. Now here we got some comparison of. One of my favorite Cobra soldiers is the Cobra Trooper from the Pursuit of Cobra line. And then we got the, obviously, the Cobra Officer that came out this year. Cobra Trooper from the Pursuit of Cobra came out many, many years ago. And you can really see the difference in just, like, their, their plastic color. You know, you got your very lighter blue, brighter navy compared to the darker one, which I do like the darker better. Um, and I know some of you are going to be like, well, you're comparing a Trooper to an Officer, whatever guys like <laughs> i'm comparing the quality of the figures and which one i prefer more here we get an up close look at the two different figures both have a lot of sculpted detail in the harnesses this guy has more of a buzz cut the eyes i almost like better on this one and then you take the helmet off of this one he has more sculpted in, less buzz cutty. Not too bad. Get into the arm details. The glove details. I like the knee pads on this one better. A big old mag pouch on the side he has the pistol now one thing with this older figure 
that was cool as heck. This guy came with a buttload of accessories. He came with barbed wire and everything. So he has a knife down here in his boot that can come out. So removable knife. Then he has a pistol inside the front of that pistol. You had the silencer for that pistol. I mean, look, look at that. That is, that's awesome. So you had a pistol and a silencer and a knife all on one leg. We didn't get that with the new figure. So both figures, I mean, I still lean towards the look of this one. It just looks, has a little bit more realism to it compared to the really, really bright, don't know what's going on with the outfit type of Cobra officer. Cause you got like the watch and all that stuff that's unpainted where this one definitely has like the just sculpted in fabric wrinkles and stuff. And I don't know. It, it's, I, I still fall like I, I fall to this one. I feel like it just looks better in my opinion. Um, overall now this one new one does get new articulation it gets the waist swivel this one did not have the waist swivel and you get the pivoting and boot cut in the feet this one did not you have the ankle bend and it can you know rotate and stuff but there's no pivoting but even the look at the boots let's look at the boot difference you guys really can't see because it's all out of focus but there you go i mean it's yeah, even the pant wrinkles are a little bit sharper on the older figure. And again, the older figure came with like a lot of weapons. And even his main gun that I dropped had paint on it. So we got painted uh, rifle here. I do believe it's like a dragon off. But it's little things like that. Like it's it's hard to... I mean, they're both they're both good. I keep I keep swaying back and forth, but I mean, between the two, in my opinion, I still think the Pursuit of Cobra is going to win. You get a lot more accessories, uh, you get a lot more uh, weapon holding on the actual figure, and to me, it just looks more realistic. So definitely seeing these figures side by side, um, it's I, I feel like it's a no brainer with the whole aesthetic and look. I really like the old Pursuit of Cobra. Sure, it's missing some of the articulation that this new one has, but it came with a lot more gear. It came, it came with like painted weapons. It came with the spool of barbed wire, and it even came with a painted rocket launcher. So it came with a bunch of accessories and just, I don't know, it just looks more pleasing to the eye. This one's definitely more of a cartoony, like blue color. Um, but again, it's still not a bad figure. We get the mortar that we didn't get before. It is a Cobra officer. So, I mean, it's it's really preference. I mean, I, I own them both. So, I mean, I, I like them both. But if I had to choose between one or the other, I would definitely lean towards the Pursuit of Cobra figure over the new one. And uh, that's that's crazy, especially since, <laughs> especially since this one came out this year. And then this one's so old. And it's like... This one cost more back in the day. This one was less. It's like, it's it's little, little crazy, little crazy there. At the end of the day, you got to decide if this is worthy for your Cobra army. For me, it is. Sure, it's a brighter color than the Pursuit of Cobra soldiers that I already have built up, but I am okay with this. I got one to rock and one to stock, so I can put one up on my wall. And I wanted the mortar for my army, so. Definitely more of a reason for me to get it, but it's a solid, solid figure release. And honestly, if you don't have any of the O-rings, you're just getting into three and three quarter. These guys will look good if you start doing like little army regiments of them. And uh, yeah, that's that pretty much sums my, <laughs> sums up my unboxing and review of G.I. Joe Retro three and three quarter line Cobra Officer. If you guys like what you saw, please hit that thumbs up. New to my channel, hit that subscribe button for me. I know it's just a red button click for you guys, but it means the world to me, helps me grow, helps me continue to develop this channel, and I do appreciate it when you guys do that. And make sure you hit the silver bell notification if you want to get alerts when I post up a new video. And also go check out Toyco Toys and Collectibles. There's a website down below with a promo code for you guys to get free shipping on anything you see on the website. 
and there is a Toyco pre-order group that's a Facebook group that you can join in and it really keeps you in the know with a lot of collectibles that are coming out especially imports like Figma, SH Figure Arts, 3.0, Mofex. I mean I can go on when it comes to imports so definitely check them out and make sure you're always in the know with collectibles so you're not paying that secondary market and I want you guys to have the best luck hunting. Keep on collecting and have a beautiful day.